Welcome back to another episode of Expediting America. We continue our journey to Topeka, Kansas to deliver one of my first eBay sales, which is a huge oak dining set that turned out to be quite a task to unload. On the way there, we have a few planned stops as well as one unexpected stop from my Prius battery guy who hit me up this morning. So let's go ahead and do that one. After picking up this hybrid battery, it'll be my 11th on board for this trip. And it brings my total bill for this gentleman to over $1,100. Now, if these batteries were my only shipment on board, this would not make sense at all. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. The only reason I'm picking up these batteries is they're already along my pre-planned route. I have one stop 20 miles from here, and I'm already going to Brooklyn, New York to do some drop-offs and pickups. Load it up. Let's get it. Loves getting 12 cents off a gallon. Looks like we're going to fill up for under... 60 bucks. It's a good day, huh, Bubba Joe? We all have moments, don't we? If we had... Yeah, he loves other dogs. His name is Bubba Joe. He's friendly with everybody. Oh, that's a beautiful golden. He's a pit husky German Shepherd and Chow. As you just heard, uh, I found out what Bubba Joe is, what breed he is. He's actually a mixture of four breeds, Pit, Husky, German Shepherd, and Chow. Now you may be asking, Brandon, how did you figure this out? Well, I linked up with Embark Dog DNA Testing. They sent me a home DNA testing kit. I swabbed Bubba's mouth, sent it in, and they sent me the results over email. Not only do they test your dog's DNA to tell you the breed, but they also test for over 250 genetic risks that are specific to your dog's breed. And not only that, but they can also match your dog up with relatives that have taken the test as well, yeah. which is really cool. Click the link below for your breed and health testing kit. Use code word best dog for $40 off. All right, now this delivery here, I'm in Jackson, Tennessee. And I'm delivering my first or second piece of furniture I sold officially on eBay, which is this right here. It's a Chippendale mirror. Oh, you're good, John. I appreciate it, man. That's wild. Oh, you got a good little deal here. Did you grow up here? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, he had 15 brothers and sisters born right here. That is wild. So my, I was trying to move in and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bring it back to the way it looked 100 years ago. Yeah, that's cool, man. Well, John, it's nice, nice to meet you, my friend. Yeah, man. Sorry uh, I'm not out for drinking. No, you're good, man. I hope you enjoy the mirror. Be Thank you. Well, that whole process was pretty cool. You know, getting to deliver a piece of furniture that I bought to resell was pretty cool. The whole kind of moment came full circle. You know, for me, going on Facebook Marketplace and buying the mirror from somebody locally, and it sold for $150, and then they paid $150 for delivery, which I was going to refund the guy $50 bucks for delivery because after he bought it, he messaged me. And he's like, I didn't see the delivery was just as much as the mirror. Um, but so I told him, you know, just to keep him happy and keep that item sold, I told him I would re refund him 50 bucks, which when I delivered, he told me I could keep the $50. And like I said, I'm already going on this route and going this way. So it works out just fine for me. Um, I have one more piece to deliver that I sold off eBay, which is really seven pieces total because it's six chairs and one dining table. And then two uh, dining table leaves as well. So really seven, eight, nine, if you want to include the individual pieces that are wrapped up. And I bought that there for 300 bucks all in with uh, picking an item up with gas and paying my girlfriend's son. I sold the table and chairs for $800 and then $500 for shipping. So it came out to $1,300. eBay took $128 off the top there. So it's still a pretty good profit, you know? I'm delivering the piece, 
I do have to kind of go out of my way about a hundred and maybe 200 miles because I do go to Harrisonville, Missouri to pick up, which I usually do on my routes. So all in all, I think I'm doing pretty well. I'd like to see how this goes. I'm definitely not going to, you know, if there's one thing that I learned from this whole experience is not buying huge items, you know, shipping a huge item is a big deal and it's hard to really recoup that on the delivery. Uh, thankfully, it's what I do for a living, but for most people, that's just not the case. So I'm gonna stick with chairs and smaller items, things that I could stack and such, paintings, um, and we'll see how that goes. But, you know, for a trial and error uh, situation and just getting into the business and learning a lot from it, I think I did pretty well given the items that I bought and I've already made money, you know? So let's keep it going. Our next stop is Marion, Illinois. They close at 6.30, we'll be there at 5 p.m. with the traffic the way it is right now. It's about a three hour and 20 minute drive. And then we will head to St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri for tomorrow morning where we'll drop off this therapeutic uh, bicycle here in the back. I have about three hours to drive to my next stop in Marion, Illinois, where I'll be picking up what they call a blood box and delivering that all the way to Orlando, Florida to Ripley's, believe it or not. Let me get this out of your way. We put it back here. No worries. Do you know what it is or? Um, it's going to Ripley's, believe it or not. It is. It is a trunk. It's like, uh, used to be for like, Blood transfusions, oh. but it was like decorated. All right, on the corner, probably hang off the edge a little bit. But Ooh, I oh, did you do? You yeah, okay? You go top yeah, top. Here we go. That's good. There, it got tiring. Plus, dealing with my boss was too much. This place offered me the job, and they've been super nice to me. Sometimes that makes the difference, man. That's everything, is this how you treat people? Uh, thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Have a great day. So our next stop is going to be St. Louis. Going to drop off that therapeutic bike. And then we're going to call it a night. Start our day off driving to Topeka, Kansas. To drop off that big Hender and dining table and chairs. No one, no one ever knows where we're heading, where this story goes. All right, Joe, back it up. Back it up. Back it up, Joe. Back it up, back it up. Either way, you like, yeah, right, dude. I'm going to finish my puck cup. Because that's what I do. I'm a puck. And this is my cup. All right, let's park over here, eat our food. A break. I was gonna say call it a day, but we still got one more stop. You just gotta own them to your path. What feels right in your heart and your soul. I know you always wanna do what's right. I know you rather wanna fly them just like that. Take pictures. And then let's get out of here. This is our last stop for today. We're going to head towards Topeka, Kansas to drop off this dining set uh, tomorrow morning. I think it's like a three hour drive from here in St. Louis. I'll catch y'all tomorrow morning. Catch y'all now. So 99.9% .9 of the time, I use my Planet Fitness black car to take showers and go to the gym to work out. But tonight there wasn't one open nearby. So I stopped at this Loves and splurged on a shower there. This is what it looks like inside of a truck stop, shower and restroom area.
today is the day I've been waiting for for weeks. Let's go ahead and deliver this dining room set. We're about two hours away from Topeka, Kansas to drop off this dining set. And I'm pretty nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous because I, you know, you sell this to somebody, you, you tell them, you describe it as best as you can, but I feel like they're gonna find something wrong with it, you know, just maybe they won't, but I have a feeling that they will, you know, like, oh, you didn't describe this or that, you know. I did say it was sold as is, so it is what it is. I'm taking it 1,400 miles, they, they can't return it, you know what I mean? Beautiful weather, it's uh, 72 degrees right now, but uh, I will check in with you guys when I get to Topeka. Just got gas here at this Love's, 12 gallons, and we got 12 cents off a gallon. Gas is 266. I like this. How you doing? Good. I'm Brandon. Brian. I'm actually the guy you bought the table from. Oh, I am? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do, uh, that's what I do for a living. I do, for, I, I ship furniture for people. So about like uh, a month and a half ago, two months ago, I started like buying and reselling furniture. Mm -hmm. So I plan out my routes to like, you know, accommodate that now. Yeah. This is actually my second piece of furniture I even sold. All so right. it's kind of cool. This is going to Ripley's Believe It or Not in Orlando. Really? Yeah. Really? What is it? Uh, as far as I know, it's just some type of chest. Some type of, uh, okay. yeah, some type of chest. I'm not really sure. Um... Yeah, I, I do. I stop in Harrisonville, Missouri on my routes pretty frequently. And that's not too far. So that's why. I, I mean, the, the shipping for a table like this is usually a lot more expensive. But since I do this for a living, I just made it on my route. It wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Um, I have these to help us in case we need it. The table is heavy, you know, but I think we'll be all right. All right, so we'll do some chairs first. So you buy them like Estate sales and stuff, or what do you do? I would, I've been doing Facebook Marketplace. It's a hell of a deal on these these chairs and this table. Mm -hmm. It'll look good, for, especially for Thanksgiving, like you said. That's what you need it for, right? Yeah. All right, I hope you're ready to have some fun. Kind of help us. Oh, uh, we're gonna just get it down, and then you'll flip it when it's out. Now I have a strap. I don't know if you want to try to use it, but it goes over our shoulders, and then yeah, you ready? One, two, three. Yeah, and then you. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Because I'll get low. So for you, the viewers, this just took seconds. But for us, this was hell. And this is why I will never do a huge dining set move like this unless I have help. We'll kind of lift the legs are strong, so. Thank you so much, man. Seriously. I'm so grateful. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Now this for me is such a loaded question. Uh, so I'm going to Harrisonville to make that pickup I usually do. Getting four chairs and a table there, a small table. And then uh, from there I go to Wisconsin, just north of Chicago, down to Chicago, Indiana, Michigan. I stop in Ohio to visit my grandmother and do a drop off. Pennsylvania, New York, 
Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's yeah. usually what I do, you know, about two, three weeks on the road. After that, I'm going to take my time to fold these blankets. And thank God. First of all, once I got the order, eBay gives you 10 days to send it out and ship it out to the receiver. I was on the road when I got the order and I wasn't going to be home for a week and a half. And then I was going to be home for two weeks cleaning up after Hurricane Milton and trying to set up other furniture and sell selling other stuff, you know? Um, so I told them I can't deliver it until almost the beginning of November. Right off the bat, I let them know. I could have lost the sale. They could have been like, well, we can't wait. He said, no worries, just get it here before Thanksgiving. So I knew that was no problem. The other hurdle I faced was the size of the table and the chairs and how heavy it was. Obviously that was not easy to do. Um, and he's a pretty big dude, you know? Um, that's the last time I will do a dining room set. That's for sure, like a big table like that. Unless I set up shipping for a lot more, um, it was just too much, you know? I'll still do chairs, I'll still do small tables, nightstands, paintings, stuff like that. Um, hybrid batteries. But pretty much, I'm gonna stay away from doing tables unless they're local and they come pick it up, you know? Um, thankfully, I did get the table for a cheap enough price to where, you know, it made sense for me. Maybe not for you guys out there in TV land or YouTube land, but um, for me, it did. It made sense. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Expediting America. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.